After what we just did to them? Yes. I bet all deals are off now. What were the terms? CTOS code is the base of home software. Collected data sold back to Bloom. At a hefty discount, of course. Sounds like we showed up at the right time then. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Nick. As always, you can call me Tetra Ninja. And a wise man once said, all good things eventually must come to an end. And this is my last episode of early gameplay from Watch Dogs 2 as I try to perform a little stunt right here and just fail miserably like I do in all my racing games. Once again, this was early gameplay captured at a Ubisoft press event in San Francisco. Flight and accommodations were provided by Ubisoft, but they did not pay for any secondary promotion of this game. I did not get paid to make this video, which means I can say whatever the hell I want. And I, I think that's the best. I kind of had this conversation over Twitter, over social media, hey, a couple days ago, where in this world away. where YouTubers are getting more and more free access to early gameplay events and stuff like that, it's so easy to try to accept money to do these events and do these promotional videos. And I'll be honest with you, I've done them in the past. Uh, well, I've done one video in the past where I actually got paid to promote the video. And it really didn't end up that well in terms of the content I created. I was really limited in what I was able to say and my real impressions. I had to add out, edit out like graphical glitches in the game that weren't just in that specific demo. They ended up being glitches in the final game as well. And it just didn't end up well. So if you're like an aspiring YouTuber, like I said, it's so tempting to try to accept money to do a promotional event, but I, my recommendation for you guys, if you do not want your content changed in any sort of way, if you want full control of what you are able to show and what you're able to say, it's best just to go to the event, not accept any money, and just go home with the footage and do whatever you want with it. Honestly, I think that's the best thing to do, because in this specific video, I'm going to be giving you guys my final impressions of my two hours that I got to play with the game. So in part one, I talked about gameplay. In part two, we talked about story. In part three, we talked about technical aspects of the game, graphics, resolution, all that shiny stuff, all the shiny polygons, high polygon counts and everything. So if you want the impressions to that, those parts of the game, those different aspects of the game, I've kind of arranged this all in the playlist and you, you can go backtrack and watch those episodes. So in this episode, we're just gonna talk about my final impressions, what I think that you guys are going to be able to expect when this game fully comes out. So, when this game fully comes out, I really don't expect this game to have this amazing, engrossing story in terms of its characters or its narrative. It's basically just going to be a lot of fun. Uh, you have all these hipster people, these hackers if you will the Jon Snowdens of the world just kind of doing whatever they want and trying to fight against the man and it's kind of be a little bit cringeworthy at sometimes what I expect just the interaction between them all I don't expect one character especially Marcus I don't expect Marcus's character to be that strong and appealing and you gotta really care for him at the end of the game so that's what I kind of expect from the story. In terms of technical aspects, I'm not 100% sure how this game is going to run. I said it in part 3 because I was kind of suspect the demo I was playing, even though there are PlayStation 4 icons and controls on screen. I had a hunching suspicion that this might have been the PlayStation, or sorry, the PC version of the game. I have no way of proving this, but that's just my hunch based on my experiences of playing on PlayStation 4 for so long, but this specific demo, if it is PC, if this is indeed the PlayStation 4 version of the game, it did run very, very smoothly, and it, everything does look very nice. The colors are nice, vibrant, nice and vibrant, and San Francisco has just been recreated very well. And in terms of gameplay, I expect fun gameplay. There's a lot of stuff that you can do in this game, like hang from this little cherry picker right here, or the sky lift, and try to go collect collectibles. And despite what you guys may have thought from part one, the driving actually was done very well. The driving controls in this game are excellent, I would say. I'm not a huge racing guy, I said that in the previous episodes, but you guys have to remember that in part one, I was driving an armored truck. So armored trucks, by nature, are supposed to be slow and clunky. So a lot of people saw the armored truck gameplay and thought that that was like an indicator of what the driving would be in the rest of the game. And it's not so. As you guys probably see, I got into some fast cars and they handled well. 
they drove super fast a la Mario Kart and the drifting felt good everything felt very smooth and intuitive and yeah overall had a fun time and although I can't really speak to much of the other gameplay other than in this demo I think that the missions will be really well designed and you'll basically have free reign of what you want to do and how you want to approach things you can either approach it with drones or you can go up in personal and try to do things hand to hand like I prefer to do because I'm a huge stealth guy I feel the rewarding satisfaction of doing things personally and just getting down and dirty getting my, hand, my hands dirty and just yeah going going to get it get at it you know if you guys would like me to put on my fortune teller hat on and give you guys a prediction of what I think this game will score, it's Metacritic. When this game fully releases, I expect it to be around like the mid 80s, to be honest with you. Probably ranging between like an 84 to like 87, right in the middle, smack dab, probably an 85. That's probably where I think the most of the quote unquote professional media journalists will kind of put it and that's a pretty decent score i don't think that this game is going to be game of the year by any means but mid 80s is still really decent it's gonna make for several hours of enjoyment and fun i just decided here to go yolo and crash as much things as possible run over things because at this time it was kind of like the end of the session i was actually holding the people late because i was trying to capture as much stuff as i possibly could all the secondary stuff what you're about to see is I'm racing towards a very poorly done <laughs> motorcycle race. I try to get there as quick as possible and I don't really give a fuck about whoever I have to kill to get in my way. So we do the mo motorcycle thing. It's poorly done. I only had one chance to do it. But yeah, uh, like I said, this game is not going to be game of the year. I can pretty much guarantee that to you guys. That's probably that title is pretty much still reserved, I think, for Uncharted 4. Mafia 3 might give that a little bit of a run for its money, but I still, by the end of this year, I think that Uncharted 4 will be game of the year. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this early look at Watch Dogs 2. I had a lot of fun playing it. I hopefully got you guys to get a better idea what the game is all about. And you guys can look forward to my full Let's Play walkthrough whenever the game releases. I honestly forget the day, but I definitely will be doing a series. But yeah, enjoy the poorly done motorcycle dirt bike race to finish this off. Oh! Oh! I helped you back on the damn road! Oh! 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 Oh!